Hello everybody and welcome back to Chris Bosch Props. Today we are going to do a video reviewing this GTEC ALK 2K resin printer. The company GTEC reached out to me and asked me if I would like to review their printer and I said of course except under the conditions that I can give an unbiased review, give the positive as well as the negatives without any kind of censoring and they were absolutely for it. So we are here, we are going to review this printer and we are going to see at the $99 price point how it compares to a more expensive Elegoo printer. For you guys that are new to 3D printing and want to get into 3D printing, I think this might be the perfect gateway printer for you to experiment and try it out. So let's get into the video and let's see how it works. Okay guys, so right out the box, this is pretty much what you get. There is very little to no assembling. Uh, the first negative that I saw right out the box was this resin vat here. It is made of plastic and it is not made of metal or CNC metal like the Elegoo Saturn resin printers. But again, those are much more expensive printers than this $99 printer. So this being plastic is not going to affect your print quality at all. But I don't know about longevity. I haven't had the printer that long, but I think it will be just fine, to be honest. But that is a negative that I did notice right off the bat. It comes with a 6-inch monochrome LCD screen. And they boast of a 1.5 second cure time. Uh, overall, the printer itself is very good quality. It is all machined metal. It has linear rails right here. It has a UV top here. Very high quality stuff. You have your bed here, which is also CNC aluminum. Uh, this bed is basically 3 inches by 5 inches long. And you can print up to like 7 and a half inches tall. Uh, so far very high quality another negative that I will say right off the bat is these channels right here do get filled with resin and They are kind of hard to clean You'll need some q-tips to get in there when you clean your resin and wash out your stuff But yeah, that was kind of a negative for me because on the Elegoo Saturns uh, You don't really get resin in any kind of channels. They made the beds just right so but with a little bit of Q-tips, you can clean those out and it doesn't affect print quality. So you put your bed on there, you just slide it right on, screw this on. We have our vat here and it just slides right onto those thumb screws. You tighten them up. We have our back here. We plug our power in. This is your USB thumb drive slot. That is what you will send your G code to. And then you just power this baby on right there. Bed is loose and it is ready to be leveled. A real easy way that I level my beds. I know a lot of people take this off and use a cardboard stock or whatnot. I don't ever really do that. The perfect way to level it is, is right here. You'll go into tools, you go to manual, and then you're gonna home it. So the bed is lowering onto the FEP. So it's nice and loose, so all we need to do now is tighten these socket cap screws. You have four of them on the side. Make sure your bed is kind of centered. Once it's centered on the FEP, all you have to do just tighten these up. Now that our bed's leveled, all we gotta do is I just press this up a few times just to give me room to pour in my resin. You can pour your resin in with this lowered as well. It doesn't really matter, but that's how I level my bed. Super easy, guys. I do it on all my printers and it works just fine. So let's pour some resin in and let's get to printing and see how this thing works. 
GTEC also sent me some water washable resin and I'm really curious to see how well it works compared to just standard UV resin. So these first prints I did are Clipper 331 valves. These are mods that I do for a Ghostbusters Spirit Proton Pack. And I have an Etsy store where I sell these, so I was curious to see if this printer prints just as good as my Workhorse Elegoo Saturn 4K printer. So we're gonna get these off the print bed and let's just see how well they compare. So here are the prints cleaned up and cured. The Clipper valve on the right came right off of the GTEC Alcade resin printer and the clipper on the left of course came off of the Elegoo Saturn 4K and to be honest guys I can hardly tell a difference if even a difference at all I think the only difference I'm really seeing is the difference in resins as one has more of a sheen than the other one but other than that guys I can't really tell a difference so if you are thinking about opening an Etsy store or you have an Etsy store where you print miniatures, uh, this printer will definitely do the job for you for $99. This is about a six hour, seven hour print. I usually print them two at a time and it did it no problem. Definitely a win-win on the first prints and the comparison between a $200 more expensive printer. Guys, you really can't beat it. So the next thing I wanted to print, of course, was this Robocop statue, which is a very high quality statue. The armor is the same armor that you see me use and wear in some of my videos. And guys, it did an incredible job. This was about a 12 hour print and it knocked it out of the park. So I wanted to print this miniature Robocop that is highly detailed for you guys that print high detailed models and even sell them on Etsy. As you can see here, the printer had no problem in doing it. Although I definitely could have better optimized this, but for scale, you can see how small this is and the Alcade printer really had no problem handling it. And then of course, because we printed small, if it could print small guys, it could print big. So usually the smaller prints are much harder to do than the bigger prints. So I didn't start with the small. So I printed a bigger Robocop here and you can see it also handled it very well. Super cool guys, super cool. So for my conclusion guys, would I recommend this cheap $99 GTEC resin printer? Yes, I would. The printer works, and even though it's cheap, honestly, it works just as good as my Elegoo Saturn 4K over here. So if you're new to 3D printing and you want to get into resin printing but don't really want to break the bank and spend a lot of money, I do highly recommend. It would be a good printer for you to just try out and see if you even like this without feeling guilty that you spent a lot of money if you end up not liking it and not wanting to go further with the hobby. So yeah, I do recommend it for those people. Do I recommend it for people that are already into resin printing and have the high-end Elegoo Jupiters and Elegoo Saturn 8Ks and wherever they're at now? Do I recommend to you to buy one of these? No, probably not. It probably isn't going to be up to par with those printers, but yes, if you are new to 3D printing, this is the printer for you. And to be honest, I'm going to use it for my Etsy store to print some of the models that I sell. So that should tell you a lot right there, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thank you for tuning in, and we're on to the next one.